Hello, fire signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is going to be a reading to see what is the next major change in your love life that's coming up. What is the overall energy and what else we can learn about these new changes? Um, there will be an extended version which will explore the advice you need to know for each sign. So um, the link is going to be available below. You do have to sign up to membership on the channel to access that extended reading. Um, but the join button is on the homepage of my channel. Um, otherwise, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Let's jump into it. Don't want to ramble on too much to fire signs, so let's kick on with it. Okay, so overall energy for fire signs. What is the next major change um, that's coming to your love life? Okay, you've got the Queen of Wands, a very powerful energy. There's lots of change. Queen of Wands is a card of action, is a card of movement. Okay, so for a lot of you, there's action required or action that will be taken. It's a Leo kind of energy, so a lot of initiative, okay? But to come into that Queen of Wands energy, the next chapter is really big. For a lot of you, it's going to mean moving in with a loved one, taking your first trip together, moving overseas for someone, you know, moving closer to be, um, to be with them. This is the physical movement, okay, to be closer in a relationship or in a connection. But the Queen of Wands is also quite a lustful energy. So for a lot of you, this next chapter entices you to be more intimate with people, be more open, you know, explore your sexuality, um, explore who you are, you know, explore these attractions. So a lot more attraction is coming your way. Now, attraction opens up the door for love. So there's definitely a lot of potential that's coming your way um, in terms of like potential partners um, and people that are really going to connect with you. Look, it's Leo energy. So I feel like you, Leo energy is a powerful energy in a sense where it's having power. Okay. So this next chapter, you're going to be the one deciding what happens, when it happens, who it happens with, how long it happens for. I mean, like this is you practically dictating, like you have so much control over your love life. It's going to be insane, honestly. Um, let's look at this a little bit more though. See what comes up. Fire signs. Well, this is exciting. This is very exciting. I'm excited for you. I think you can hear it in my voice. Um, okay, so the love card, the growth card are reversed. This is very interesting. Okay, Queen of Cups, she's reversed here. You are either not looking for anything too heavy or you're not looking to be tied down, maybe. This next chapter is more about finding fun and adventure and intimacy and finding that spark rather than finding that deep love bond connection. That's not to say it can't happen, but I feel like I'm seeing that overall energy. I mean, you do have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. It's the marriage card. It's the relationship card. It's the card of having titles. So whilst I believe that your relationship status is about to change drastically, I feel like the importance for you in this next chapter is going to be respect. It's going to be uh, adventure. And it's going to be like that spontaneity. That's what's really going to get your motor running, I feel, because because of that overall energy that the Queen of Wands brings. Um Seven of Wands, okay, Fire Signs, I see you pushing someone away here, okay? If someone's coming on too strong or they're going to sort of want commitment from you, you're acting a little bit avoidant, all right? I feel like this next chapter, you, for some reason, you're not, not that you're not as serious, um, Fire Signs, but you're just, something about you has shifted, has changed internally, and you're going to find that you're, you know, you don't want to do the love story thing anymore. You know, you don't want to do the love stories. Maybe you don't want all these cheesy moments. I don't know what it is or why this person is doing it or why this new person may be doing it. But seven of Wands, you're going to feel backed up in a corner here. I feel like you'll want more freedom. Okay, this next chapter, you want more space. Maybe you want to move back out. Um, you know, maybe you want to go traveling. I feel like the need for adventure in your relationship or the need to have fun again with your person is going to be huge for you. Okay, I also feel like you might not want to be tied down. Yes, you might be making those physical changes, but for some of you... They might not be as intense. For some, it is. The Hierophant is that long-term commitment. But the Seven of Wands, anything that you won't want to do, you'll push it away. You'll resist it. So you're pushing pushing things away that your person may be offering you or maybe you thought you wanted. Um, 
either way, it's moving you forward, okay? There's no, like, regression. It's more progression. Because you've got the Six of Swords, right? That's moving you forward. That's inching forward to a future. But it moves towards the Queen of Wands. So you're moving towards, okay, does this person make me feel alive? Are the people that I'm normally going for, do they make me feel, you know, amazing? Do they make me feel like my loins are on fire? You know, like, what do they make you feel like? And you're going to find that you're asking yourself these questions. If this person doesn't get your motor running, you're gone. You're out the door. Otherwise, what's the alternative? To stay and not have love, not have, you know, that adventure? I feel like love, you know, that deep, soppy kind of love that we sometimes experience, I feel like you're pushing that to the side. I feel like it's just, it's not a priority, okay? I don't get that it's a priority. Not that the Queen of Wands is incapable of love because she's not. Her energy is not incapable of love, but it's not the most important thing for her. So I feel like priorities in your connection or what you deem important or what you thought was important, that's what's changing here for you. Interestingly, the Empress is reversed. This is like family, okay? I don't know if some of you are delaying getting pregnant, starting a family, meeting your person's new children, for example, your new person's children. Uh, maybe they do have new children. No, maybe they adopted. Um, but I feel like there is, you know, the Empress is that sort of homely family feel. Um, and she's reversed. So again, you are taking action, but maybe not, not huge steps, okay? Could be more like baby steps. And whatever works for you, because that next chapter, I feel like with that Queen of Wands, um, is bringing that kind of energy to you. So you'll have to sort of gauge what kind of energy, where that Queen of Wands falls into your life here. But, you know, we do have the notion of children and family. Children and family have come up. So for some of you, you are starting a family. Um, again, relationship status is changing. So some of you, you're going to become mothers, fathers, caregivers, step um, step figures. You know, there's uh, this, this title that is being changed because you're making the action, you're taking the action, you know, you're going down to City Hall, you're getting married, you're signing those documents, you're relocating overseas to be with your person, you know, you're making things official. There's there's an officialness um, that comes with the Hierophant that I feel is connected to what that Queen of Wands is bringing you. Um, but I, I feel like in some ways, it's going to evoke resistance within you. But I think it's a good thing because it's like, you'll know, okay, I'm scared of this. I don't want it. Not right now. Or this is moving too fast for me. I need to let this person know. So I feel like it's like these truths that maybe you didn't know before. And, you know, they'll come to you this time and it'll be very re refreshing for you. I think it's something that you need um, coming into this new chapter. But I'll leave it there and continue with your extended. Remember, the link is going to be below, but you will have to sign up to membership. Otherwise, a thank you, um, Firesign, for watching. And until next time, ciao for now.